Hello and welcome to this week's instalment of Doosa TV News. I'm Joe. And I'm Chris. The University of Dundee is launching a major project to examine the constitutional aspects of the referendum for Scottish independence. The project, titled Five Million Questions, intends to stimulate debate and apply wider academic rigour when it comes to examining the implications of the referendum. Professor Christopher Watley, Vice Principal of the University and Project Leader, had this to say. Recent weeks have seen calls from the public and prominent Scots to bring a deeper, honest analysis to the debate. Five million questions will address this need. Here's our international correspondent, Gary Duncan, to give us the latest census data on Antarctica. It's currently summer in Antarctica, so population has expanded to 4,400 people. The local penguin population has voiced its annoyance over the recent influx of tourists. Back to the studio. Thanks for that, Gary. This first day, Liar Bar is going all-American as it hosts a special all-day Thanksgiving event. Starting from noon, themed pizzas and pumpkin pie will be available, and two American football games will be shown, starting at 5.15. Check the link in the description for details. Also on Thursday, the Dundee Uni Swing Dance Society are continuing the American theme by holding a 50s prom night in mono, with live music, a prize for the best dress, and a chance to vote for the prom king and queen, it's sure to be a swell night. Tickets are three pounds in advance from the Premier Store on campus, or four pounds on the door. And here's Catherine with the weather. It's raining because we're in Scotland, so join me in the no rain dance. Hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya, hi -ya. A cross-disciplinary team from the USA, Netherlands and the UK will come together at the University of Dundee this week to try and develop a better understanding of the concept of learning disability. In a seminar taking place at the Dalhousie building on Thursday, researchers from a variety of fields will be offering their own perspectives on the matter in an attempt to shift the emphasis from a purely medical perspective to a broader understanding. Dr Ed Hall, one of the event's organisers, claimed that the insights generated will be taken forward into two further seminars next year, and we hope to have a lasting impact by encouraging further interdisciplinary academic dialogue, raising the profile of people with learning disabilities in research and policy development, and stimulating policy and practice that reflects the complexity of learning disability in people's lives. If you've got any news you'd like to share with us, please send it to info at dusa.tv. That's, That's all for this week, Dundee. What? Like, <laughs> then please send it to Dusa at ah. Send it to Dusa at <laughs> to Dusa at. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs>